I'm back. I'm back now. So this is 1970, and uh, I was working for a local music store as well as playing in the evenings um, at uh, Jim's House of Music and Judy's School of Dance in Placentia. Just happens that it was right down the street from where Leo was working in his office, where I'm at right now, uh, on Fender Boulevard. And it's in, uh, this is in Placentia, I would imagine, uh, even though it's called Fender Street. Yes. I'm talking to Steve Arahu, uh, standing over here. Anyway, uh, we, uh, I was working there, and b by chance, I ended up um, buying Jim's music in 1971 from Jim Bojo and his wife. And that was, I was 21. And it was a new experience for me. And... Jim Bojo was a Fender dealer at the time, so I, you know, saw Chuck Widener every once in a while. He remembered who I was, and uh, when I bought it, the day after I bought it, I'll always remember this, in walks Don, Chuck, and Leo Fender, uh, just to say hi and congratulate me and wanted me to uh, know that uh, I could continue being a Fender dealer, which was great at the time. So we were a Gibson dealer and a Fender dealer, and I believe Epiphone uh, at that time as well. So that was uh, another interesting situation I got involved with. Then time went by, uh, still a Fender dealer. The next time I saw Leo, he stopped by again in the store with a gentleman named Dale Hyatt. And uh, they came in and they had a couple of instruments with them, and uh, Mr. Fender, Leo, um, was explaining to him that he was starting a new company uh, called GNL, George and Leo. So George Fender and uh, Leo, uh, George Fullerton, excuse me, George Fullerton and Leo Fender, which was GNL Guitars. Um, so he had his shop over here and he brought these guitars in and wanted to know what we thought of them. So I told him, well, you know, I'm playing in a local band locally here, so if you'd like, I could, you know, take them with me and have my guitar player uh, use them and see how they were. So we started this relationship, and I was back and forth, uh, bringing guitars back and forth. Uh, the guitar player was Rick Myers, and these are a couple of the ones that we were playing at that time that Rick was playing. As you can see, these were white at one time, and now they've been... Uh, tinted TV yellow I call it which is a Gibson color this is from tobacco in the clubs uh, there was so much people so many people smoking You're at right, the time that bass and we'll swap out. Yep. so many people smoking at the time <laughs> that I, I, I even had a guitar that turned this color yeah. so Rick has a Les Paul that was a white Les Paul is now this color and both of these have tinted as well Rick was also a smoker at the time he's not any longer I think, um, I, I think I remember Rick uh, being a smoker. He was quite a sm he was he was quite a smoker. Yep, but these are the two guitars, and as you see on the back, <laughs> this is the name of our group, Justin Tusk. I spent the night with Justin Tusk. It happened to be a pretty good sticker for the girls. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Steve. Fantastic. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, Appreciate it. Of course. So uh, <clears throat> that was that part of how. I got back involved with Leo and GNL.